This will be uh, the segment that talks about how we're going to do our RNA, or resection anastomosis. Um, this bowel has a very nice line resembling the submucosa, so we're going to utilize that for our uh, attempt at a modified gamby. I also want to mention that one can definitely do a full thickness bite as well. Um, it's always most important to ensure that we are getting the submucosa. So as you can see here, we're trying to put the ends together. We're going to pretend one of these is a mesenteric surface, one is an anti-mesenteric surface. So let's just assume right now we're doing the uh, mesenteric surface. We typically do one uh, that is almost at that uh, 12 o'clock mark, and we're going to go ahead and do that modified Gamby bite, and then we're going to see how it opposes together to check uh, the continuity of the bowel. And then we're going to go ahead and lap a surgeons, and then we're going to do four to six throws on top of it. And as you can see here, it's not too tight, but it's tight enough to get apposition, also to be uh, also tight enough that it doesn't allow any intestinal contents to fall out. Now, if this was, let's say, the anti-mesenteric surface, we typically will sometimes put uh, one suture there. And if it was the mesenteric surface, we typically put three pre-placed sutures uh, on, in that area first. So as you can see here, we're going to pretend that that's, let's say, 6 o'clock, and then we're going to put a suture in at... 12 o'clock now. We like to make sure that we have this kind of apposition. I'm using my fingers, which is totally it's fine as long as you're reducing contamination. Your fingers are an excellent uh, tool to use. And you can see here, I'm going to pass it to my forcep and then my assistant's holding the bowel. But I want to make sure that I'm getting that bite just underneath that submucosa. And if I have to, I can always grab the mucosa. But look how far I am from the, uh, the cut edge. Uh, it's a safe uh, distance that allows us to uh, gather enough tissue to oppose the edges together of the resection anastomosis, as well as not necessarily have it rip through. And you can see here we have a surgeon's plus four to six throws on top. And then once we have this, we can then decide where we're going to put our other sutures. So typically speaking, people try to put them a few millimeters apart. You can see here that I'm uh, kind of halving and quartering the segments, which I think is appropriate anywhere along this. So if you want to do it in quarters, it's great.